Hey guys, this is Jeremy from Church Bag Guy. I have another great unprogrammed episode for you guys. Unprogrammed is where we take a church tech topic of our choosing. We've got five minutes of uneditedness and we just, we go for it. There's no holding back. And so this time I want to talk to you guys about a great little devotional I'm kind of percolating in my head. I don't know if it's something I might actually put on Church Bag Press or not. But there's a lot of people that have been asking for resources for devotionals for church tech people. And so I actually want to bounce this off of you before I actually go full force into something like this for a devotional. One of my favorite books in the Bible is Nehemiah. In fact, that's the name of my second and oldest son. It's a, if you go into the book, it's a great understanding of what it means to have favor with man, to be able to serve God, and to want to be able to build up his kingdom. And it looks an amazing aspect of what happens when people are just knocking at your door, trying to end what it is that you want to be able to do successfully, to be able to honor God, to be able to find the resources, and to be able to use what is available to you to build up the kingdom of God. And the reason I think that this is extremely important is Nehemiah takes a role in his life. And from my, from my experience in seminary, I've had a little bit of background with this. Nehemiah is about the same time as Malachi. Malachi is trying to restore what it means to have faith in the kingdom of God, to be able to move forward because they're going to be coming into 400 years of just the dark ages, essentially for, for uh, Judaism and to Christianity. But Nehemiah is actually establishing a physical, tangible place to be able to do something amazing. Think about the church. The worship pastors up there, the youth pastors around, the senior pastors giving the sermon, they are just establishing what does it mean to have faith right now in 2015. We are back in the back, adjusting the sound, recording the audio, sending out social media tweets, getting a blog article set up for somebody to actually have something great. And we are trying to put something like this in a very tangible aspect. We get the ability to establish something great if we have the resources, if we have the favor with man, if we are serving God in everything that we do. In many ways, what we are doing is what Nehemiah has done his, his whole life. That was his entire mission. Restore the kingdom of God in a very practical sense. And so I wonder what it means for us as church tech people to have this mission to say, I want to serve the church. I don't know necessarily what that means. I have a little bit of tech expertise and I want to be able to do the best thing I can for our church to be able to reach as many people that haven't heard about Jesus, to be able to get as many people comfortable, to go as deep into their faith as possible, to be able to serve those that are hurting, to be able to worship together with the, the entire church across the globe. And so I love this idea of being able to be practical, to build something up, and to be able to establish something. So I'd love to hear what you guys have to say on this topic about Nehemiah. And how does this relate to church tech? Do you guys have your own stories of something like this where you're trying to make something very practical? So leave you guys comments below. I'd love to just, just investigate all these different stories. We'll talk to you guys next time.